In addition to the terrestrial planets, the other group is the Jovian planets, or gas giants. These orbit much farther out from the Sun. Their size is larger than the rocky planets. Under their gas atmosphere is a liquid layer with a dense core in the center. They have rings and many moons. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system and the fifth from the Sun. The composition of its thick, dense atmosphere bears a close resemblance to that of the Sun. Its cloud cover is separated into relatively light and relatively dark bands. Swirls can be seen along their boundaries. The largest of these is the Great Red Spot. Its diameter is longer than the Earth's equator. On the surface of one of its moons, Io, large-scale volcanic activity is taking place even today. On another moon, Europa, it is suspected that liquid water could be found under its icy surface. Four of Jupiter's largest moons were discovered by Galileo with his rudimentary telescope. Among them was Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system. The sixth planet from the Sun is Saturn, which is similar to Jupiter in many respects. Strong winds and storms swirl in its banded atmosphere. Saturn's main feature is its spectacular ring system, which is composed of tiny pieces of ice and rock. Saturn has 62 known moons, with new moons being discovered every year. The largest one, Titan, even has its own atmosphere. The dense atmosphere of the seventh planet, Uranus, is composed of hydrogen and helium. The planet was discovered by German astronomer William Herschel. Like Venus, it rotates in the direction opposite to its orbit, with its axis leaning strongly to the side. One year on Uranus is as long as 84 Earth years. Since its axis of rotation is almost parallel to its orbital plane, its two poles face the Sun for about 40 years each. The eighth and most distant planet from the Sun is Neptune. Its existence was predicted before it was discovered through observations of irregularities in Uranus's orbit. Its position in the solar system was calculated and then it was spotted soon after. A huge oval whirling region in its cloud cover is called the Great Dark Spot, which is large enough to encompass the Earth. 